Mike Pitts is looking for fish that will be high and dry until the floods arrive. This jungle has been above water for three months. Mike's team is joined by a local scientist who's recently discovered unique fish on the forest floor. Right, this looks uh, potentially brilliant. Any fish here were trapped in pools by the retreating river and must endure months in stagnant water before the flood returns. Maybe. I think it was... Some so small they can only be found with a fine mesh net. This is a wolf kerosene. It bites. It, it bites. A small predator. Is that a fully grown specimen? No, no, no. It's a juvenile. Juvenile. We grow up to half a meter long. Half a meter? Yeah. And it bites? Painfully. Painfully. Okay, I think I'm going to release that. There we go. Put him back in. But weather permitting, they hope to find an even more remarkable fish. Okay, let's get him. Okay. Uh, big one. Yep. On the journey up here, Janssen has been explaining to me about this small catfish, which um, it is probably blind, but lives in this very, very shallow water or even in the, in the soil. It looks like a worm, but it's actually a fish and uh, it's got feelers, the whole thing, but it's very, very small. Big yeah. one. Yep. Oh, what's this here? No, nothing. Oh, no. Yes, that's a fish. Look at that. It's truly red. That is it. That's the worm. Or yeah. the catfish. I think it's a large one. That's a large one? Yeah. <laughs> if I'd found that by myself, Jensen, I would have said that was a worm. Yeah. There's no way I would have said that was a catfish. This fish has no name. No name, no name. It's a new species. A new species. Undescribed one. Undescribed. And I've got it in my hand. The whole of its body can absorb oxygen from the air. A miniature catfish that can live on land. <laughs> 